This video is aimed to give you a better appreciation of Didymo and the significance of the threat that it poses to our rivers. When Didymo first becomes noticeable, it has formed small roundish growths on the stones. These growths start off from a single cell that is drifted down in the current and attached to the stone. Once attached, the cell divides into two and those two cells into four and so on. This expansion of the colony continues and some cells from the colony break off and wash downstream where they attach and form new colonies. As growth continues, colonies get larger and larger, more new colonies are formed and more and more of the bed is smothered in a thick impenetrable mat. Individual cells are too small to see with the naked eye, but it only takes one of these cells to be accidentally transferred to another river to continue the spread of Dinimo. If you're in contact with the river, whether swimming, fishing, picnicking or kayaking, you must clean your gear before going to another river. Every item in contact with the river has potential to spread cells including shoes, clothing, even the family dog. For fishermen, the best approach is to only fish one river per week. Clean and dry your gear as soon as you get home and make sure it remains dry for the week. If you do that, you're safe for fishing a different river the following week. Remember to check, clean and dry. Love